What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're gonna be doing a fifty million dollar buy-in. And they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games. We got like five hundred of them. Well actually five hundred and fifty because they gave us an extra fifty quarters since I did that fifty million dollar buy-in. So anyhow, super, super expensive game today. Wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a new world record win. My goodness, this right here is definitely the best setup I have ever seen inside the High Limit Coin Pusher before. They got two of the world's largest towers of quarters with a whole bunch of $5,000 chips around it. They got so many gold towers in there today. They got a massive tower of $10,000 chips on the moving platform. They got a bounty chip right there in the center. Oh nice, we're already getting some of them towers to go, sweet. They got $5,000 chip towers, $10,000 chip towers, $1,000 chip towers. They just have it stacked up incredibly well today. And I can see two mystery bags on the side tables. Oh my goodness, nice, that was a massive push right there. We got that massive tower of gold right there in the center to go. That is absolutely fabulous right there. Oh yeah, well a bunch of them towers that are back there on the moving platform are starting to fall. Oh nice. Yeah, whenever those two quarter towers fall down, that's going to be like the world's biggest avalanche for sure. So anyhow, there's a blue mystery bag on that right blue shelf and a purple mystery bag on the left blue shelf. Anyway, I think that loot chute's getting clogged up. Let's get that cleared out real quick and we'll be right back. Alrighty, AMD coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. Oh my goodness, check that out. That quarter tower on the left side. Nice, we got that tower of $10,000 chips with that bounty chip. Oh my goodness. This might be a new world record win. Check that out. That quarter tower's like losing quarters at the base of it. That is super, super close. My goodness, this is intense. Come on, big money, give me something. Oh yeah, that quarter tower on the right, it's about to go. Nice, all those $5,000 chips that was on that left tower just fell down into the tray. Well, most of them got stuck against the glass, as you can see there. Oh my gosh, this is super, super intense right here. We really, really need that uh, tower of $10,000 chips on the moving platform to crash down. Well, we got those $5,000 chips on the right, but those got stuck against the glass also, unfortunately. All right, so we only got a couple quarters left in the bowl. I think we got like 20 of them or so. Oh my goodness, those quarter towers are so close. Really don't know how they're still hanging on there. All right, so that right there was the last of our quarters. Let me go see what we've won real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Oh my goodness, nice. Both of them quarter towers fell down. Wow, I was not expecting that. I was just down here collecting the quarters and separating the chips and stuff. My goodness, that was a waterfall right there. I'll have to watch it fall down for myself later on whenever I'm editing this video. That is exceptional. Hit that like button if you enjoyed that. Alrighty, I'm back. So check this out. We got two mystery bags and a bounty chip on that previous round. So if you don't know what this bounty chip is for, it is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose. So that's actually how I was able to use 500 quarters on this game right here. I'd actually won four of those bounty chips on yesterday's game. So I used one of those on today's game, and that's how we was able to get 500 free quarters. Anyhow, let's go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags, and I'll save the other one for later. I think we should start with the red mystery bag. Haven't seen a red mystery bag in there in a little while, so hopefully there's something really, really good and valuable and beneficial in there. All right, let's see. What do we get? Oh, my goodness. Nice. Check this out. So we got a $5 chip, a $1 chip, and how many dice did we get? Looks like five white dice and four gold dice. 
the white dice we get to roll them at the end of the game whatever they land on my winnings will multiply by those numbers and the gold dice we get to roll them at the end of the game whatever they land on the gold will multiply by those numbers so this very well could be a brand new world record win today i hope so anyway and this five dollar chip if you don't know what this is for we get to cash it in they will take all of those towers and those two mystery bags that are on the side tables and they'll put them into the play field i don't get to choose what spots they put the towers in but all i know is whenever i cash this in they'll put them towers in the play field somewhere so we'll cash that in later on and we also got a one dollar chip so this right here is worth 500 quarters so i get to cash this in that would give me an extra 500 quarters and a lot of y'all was asking if i could save these for a different game uh no we have to cash these in on the present game so whenever i cash that in that'll probably put us up to over 4,000 quarters and that last round was a huge success both of those quarter towers fell down while i was collecting the quarters and separating the chips and stuff I'll have to play those in slow motion for you all later on whenever I'm editing. And we made a little over like two and a half million dollars in chips. And I think we got about 3,750 quarters. Well, that's what we had before we started playing again. So anyhow, let's keep it moving. Let's try to get all those remaining thousand dollar chips out of there. And that tower of 10,000 dollar chips on the moving platform. I tell you what, let's use that skill stop and load up a bunch of quarters at once back there. That always seems to be the best technique whenever the towers are being a little bit stubborn. It's good to get a good base of quarters behind those towers. Because there's a lot of pressure and weight behind them. Then it seems like it helps the tower crash down. So let's put like four or five hundred quarters in there at once. I know a lot of y'all like it whenever I use that skill stop button been trying to use it a couple times like every single game that I've been playing because I know a lot of y'all like to see it so if you've enjoyed the video so far be sure to hit that like button now those quarter towers falling down that scared me I was not expecting those to go whenever I was down there collecting the quarters and stuff all right so a couple more quarters and then we'll release that skill stop button yeah, and there's been times I've put a thousand quarters in there at once. If you want to check out those videos, just go to my channel and just you'll find the thousand quarters at once. I've done like three or four videos on the thousand quarters at once and it's always worked out really, really well. See that? That $10,000 chip tower moved forward tremendously. I think one more skill stop, putting like five or six hundred quarters in there will completely destroy that tower. So let's load it up again. We definitely got enough quarters to do this now. Definitely not running out of quarters anytime soon today, that's for sure. And there's actually quite a few ways I could win all those towers on the blue shelves. Today we got that $5 chip, so we'll get to cash that in. They'll put them towers into the play field. And sometimes they'll have a red earbud in there, and that literally means the exact same thing as that $5 chip. We'd get to cash that in, they'd take them towers and put them into the play field. But if that $5 chip or red earbud was not in there, it would cost me two times the original buy-in to get them to move the towers to the play field. So that $5 chip today saves us an extra $100 million. That'd be $150 million buy-in in total since the original buy-in was $50 million. Anyhow, that was like four or 500 quarters at once, so let's release that skill stop button, hoping it gets that tower $10,000 chips. Oh yeah, there it goes. Might get a second or a third wave. Come on. Oh yeah, jackpot baby. Nice. There it goes. Wow. That was an avalanche right there. We got a boatload of $10,000 chips. Now we got to focus on winning some of these quarters back. So I'm going to try to like put like two or three four dollars in there at once try not to stack as many quarters up on top of each other that's how we'll get a bunch of those quarters back i mean we still have enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there but just be on the safe side that'd be silly to lose four thousand quarters and not have enough to get it all cleared out of there you know what i mean oh so, yeah we're about to get a ton of ten thousand dollar chips right there in the middle So after we run out of quarters, well after we win those remaining chips out of there, 
I'll open up that, what was it, the brown mister bag. So we'll open that up together. Stay tuned for that. So we already got that $5 chip and $1 chip. So we get to cash those in later on. And who knows, there might be a $50 chip or something like that hidden in there also. I hope so anyway. If you don't know what the $50 chip is for, if we win it, we'd get to cash it in. They would take everything that's falling down those gutters. See them, there's one on the left and one on the right. They would take everything that's falling down those gutters and they'd put it into the play field. And if you don't know this, that money goes to the house. I don't get a win or keep any of that money. But with the $50 chip, they take everything that we've lost, put it back into our game. So pretty much give us a second chance at winning it. So that's really, really beneficial right there. And I'm not seeing any dice on top of the towers, but I think we've already got like five of the white dice and four of the gold dice. So who knows, there might be some more dice hidden in those mister bags. We still got that brown mister bag to open, and there's two more on the blue shelf. Y'all can see them. So we might win those later on after I cash in that $5 chip. I hope so anyhow. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, so we pretty much got all those quarters back that we stacked up. There's still a bunch of them on that right side. See how that right side's pretty piled up with quarters. Oh nice, we got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely excellent. Yeah, I wasn't really even paying attention to that left hand side, but got it all cleared out of there now. That is amazing. So now let's go ahead and open up that brown mystery bag. Alrighty, here it is. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. The red mystery bag definitely felt more heavier than this one, but we'll see. Hopefully there's something good in there. Oh my goodness, nice. Check this out. So we got three more white dice. So that makes eight white dice that we've won in total. We got another $1 chip. We got a $10 chip and we got that $50 chip. That is absolutely mind-blowing right there. So this $1 chip, this right here is worth another 500 quarters. So whenever I cash both of those in, that'll be an extra 1,000 quarters to add to the pile. So that is exceptional, absolutely exceptional. And this $10 chip right here, this pretty much is worth one free tower. So I get to cash this in and I get to spin a wheel. And the wheel has all these different types of chip values on there, for example, $1,000 chips, $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips. It goes as low as $10 chips, and it goes as high as $25,000 chips. Anyway, we get to spin that wheel, whatever it lands on. That's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. So this right here is really, really beneficial. It gives us a bunch of extra money, that's for sure. And this $50 chip, like I was saying earlier, we get to cash that in. They'll take everything that we've lost to them in side slots, and they'll put it back into the play field. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cash in this $10 chip and these two $1 chips right here. They'll give me an extra 1,000 quarters and they'll build a brand new tower in the play field. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, a and Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $10 chip and those two $1 chips. They gave us an extra 1,000 quarters. So that put our quarters up to about 4,800 of them now. So that's like way more than enough quarters to get it all cleared out of there today. Yeah, I'd say we could play for like maybe 24 hours on that many quarters and cash in that $10 chip and guess what? Two days in a row that wheel landed on $25,000 chips. And as you can see they did not just build one tower $25,000 chips in there. They built three of them. There's two more on the sides there. So the ones on the sides might be pretty difficult to win. I hope not, but y'all know how the sides are at times. So if we can get all those $25,000 chips out of there, my goodness, this might be a new world record win today. I hope so. Yesterday, yesterday's game was pretty good. We got a four or $500 million profit or something. If you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you check it out. I will probably link that video down in the comments section. You can just click on the link and it'll take you right to the video. And it will also be on the end screen lock. Y'all know how those videos pop up on the end screen at the very end of this video? Like, you will see my logo and stuff. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about and it shows a playlist of videos. If you want to, you can click on that playlist and it will play a bunch of my older videos. 
think there's like maybe 120 videos on that playlist or something. Can't really remember. Each time I post a new video, I add that video to the playlist. So, if you want to see a bunch more crazy epic wins like this, then uh, check out that playlist. And if you want to see yesterday's video, uh, click on that video at the end of this video right here, and it'll take you right to it. Oh yeah, we're about to get that tower. It's almost there. I think it's about time for that skill stop again. What do y'all think? Oh yeah, it's definitely going to get that tower to fall once we release that skill stop button. Let's just put like three or 400 quarters in there at once. And we got close to 5,000 quarters anyway, so... Got enough quarters to do it. Come on, big money. That second wave might get it. I hope so. Come on, big money. Well, that tower's giving us a little bit of a challenge. That's all right, though. Not going to stop till we get all them towers out of there. And that tower on the left is moving forward tremendously. Oh, yeah, jackpot, baby. Wow, we got that massive tower, $25,000 chips. Oh, my goodness. It only takes four of those to make $100,000. So if we're winning like 10 or 15 of them every single push, you do the math, like making millions of dollars every single minute. So I think we should push on the right side to try to get that great big old tower to catch up with the one on the left. Yeah, there's been times I've played up to like seven and a half, eight hours trying to get the towers on the sides to fall down. Oh sweet, we got that tower on the left. And we're also getting a bunch of $25,000 chips in the center. That is absolutely remarkable right there. Yeah, this has been an excellent game today. Take a guess down in the comments and let me know how much money you think I'm going to make back today from a $50 million buy-in. I know that's a lot of money to spend, but I do this for you all. I try to make the best content out there. And I try to make the videos as entertaining as possible. I know a lot of y'all like to see the big buy-ins, like 50 to 100 million dollar buy-ins, so that's why I do these. Anyhow, that right there was the last of the quarters. Well, actually, no, it wasn't. We still got that basket. We got a basket of quarters now. We just ran out of quarters that was in the bowl. So let's keep it going. Oh yeah, that was a brilliant push right there. That was probably like two or three hundred grand. Oh nice, looks like 125 grand left to go in the center. Nice, we got the majority of it. 50 grand, about ready to go also. Nice, we got it. So now let's keep on stacking up that right-hand side. We really, really need that tower to get moving. And if you're wondering why the corners take a long time to fall down, like, if you're wondering why the towers on the corners take a while to fall down, it's because of those side slots. Like, pay attention to the side slots whenever the quarters push forward. And if there's any weight or pressure on the corners, the quarters are just going to take the easiest path of travel or the easiest route. And that would be around the tower or it would be down that gutter. Like as you can see, the quarters on the side of the tower are moving forward pretty well. And then there's also a bunch of quarters falling down the gutter. And the quarters have to be positioned perfectly for it to move that tower. I mean, that's why you might see that tower move like once out of every 20, 25, 30 pushes or something. Because the quarters have to be lined up perfectly. And that's why it takes like seven or eight hours to get it cleared out sometimes. Come on, massive push. Give me something. Alright, so we probably got about 100 quarters left in the basket. Let's get them in there. And I might try like one more round after this, and if it doesn't get that tower $25,000 chips, we'll go ahead and trade in that uh, $5 chip. And I'll put all them towers that are on the side tables into the play field. So stay tuned for that. Really, really excited to see what's in those two mystery bags on the blue shelves. Hoping there's something really, really nice and valuable in those. Hoping we can get some more dice. And the dice are definitely the most important thing in the game. Well, besides the quarters, because I'd say there's maybe, I'd say we might win like 10, 15 million dollars in chips today at most, and that's nowhere near 50 million dollars. 
but whatever all those dice combined land on at the end of the game, whatever all the numbers total up to, we get to multiply our winnings by those numbers. And that's how we can make millions off of these games right here. So anyhow, let me go collect some quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMD Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to work. So you all are not going to believe how much money I made on that last round. Ended up winning five million dollars on the dot in twenty-five thousand dollar chips. If we can get that other tower of twenty-five thousand dollar chips on the right. That should put us up to about six and a half million dollars in chips once we can get that tower. Well, six and a half million and twenty-five thousand dollar chips anyway. That's not counting the rest of the chips, like the five thousand dollar chips, thousand dollar chips, and ten thousand dollar chips. So anyhow, this right here is going to be the last round. And if it doesn't get that tower on the right, I'll go ahead and cash in the $5 chip. So stay tuned for that. More exciting gameplay coming right up. And hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. And it would help out a lot. We're on the road to 125,000 subscribers. We got less than 1,000 subscribers. Or no, wait. Less than 1,100 subscribers to go to get to that 125,000 mark. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And give me a bunch of ideas down in the comments. And let me know what you'd want to see for 125,000 subscribers once we get there. Would you want to see a $200 million buy-in? I don't know. Just leave me some comments. Let me know what you'd want to see. It would be a 125,000 subscriber special video. So I'm, I might do a $125 million buy-in. Or who knows? Might do a $200 million buy-in. Would you want to see a one-quarter challenge? Or would you want to see like a thousand quarters at once? Just let me know what you'd want to see down in the comments. And also, let's try to get 3,500 likes on today's video. 3,500 likes. I know we can do that. I just need everyone watching to hit that like button. This video can get 3,500 likes within the first day of it being uploaded. Tomorrow, I will do a $100 million buy-in. How does that sound? I know y'all would want to see that. So get me to 3,500 likes in one day. And we'll do that $100 million buy-in tomorrow. Might do a 1,000 quarters at once also. And another thing, it is 100% free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I don't get paid for you all hitting the subscribe button or hitting that like button. I mean, in reality, it just makes it a lot easier for you all to keep up with the future videos. Because once you hit the subscribe button... There should be a bell icon right next to it, and if you hit that bell icon, it will give you the option to turn on all notifications. If you turn on all notifications, you will get notifications on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever you're watching my videos on. You will get notified every single time I upload brand new videos. And I pretty much post videos seven days a week, so don't miss out on any amazing content hit that like button subscribe and turn on the post bell notifications like i said it's just to help you all out i don't get paid from it well that tower on the right side moved forward tremendously i mean i've seen it move forward here and there so we're going to finish out this basket of quarters and if it doesn't get that tower we'll go ahead and cash in the five dollar chip i just don't want anyone to get bored with this quarters falling down and there's sometimes I'd be playing for like 15, 20 minutes and nothing moves at all, not even the quarters. And that would be insanely boring for a lot of y'all, for most of y'all anyway. So I try to cut out most of the boring parts. Like I said, try to make these videos as entertaining as possible. I just left the video in full and I posted the, the full like four or five hours that I was playing. I mean... Y'all probably wouldn't watch, but maybe 20 minutes of it. Because most of it would be me just collecting the quarters. And separating the chips and stuff. And a lot of it would just be quarters falling down. The towers wouldn't even be going at all. 
But the camera says I've been playing for one hour. Let's see, let me read it real quick. One hour, 28 minutes, and what does that say? 43 seconds. So we've been playing a pretty good while now. I mean, we still not even made it through half of the game yet because we haven't got that tower to go. We still got a cash in the $5 chip and the $50 chip. Alright, so we're almost out of quarters. That's all we got left right there. Yeah, I love these baskets that they've been giving us. These are really, really awesome, that's for sure. It's much better than the quarters just laying on the floor. Because somebody can just walk by and steal a bunch of quarters from me. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Let me cash in that $5 chip real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty, AV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those towers that was on the side tables and they put them all into the play field. And it looks like they put two of the towers on the bottom shelf right there. Those should be pretty easy to win. I'm hoping so anyway. And that tower of $25,000 chips that was on the right, they still did not rearrange that. So that might be in there until the very last round. Who knows? Anyhow, those mystery bags, those are in pretty good spots. They're on top of those towers of $10,000 chips. So we got a bunch of them towers to fall down already. And that mystery bag, it landed in the middle of the pusher back there. Nice, we got one of them gold towers to crash down on the left-hand side. Nice. Another tower of $10,000 chips. Oh yeah, nice. Well, we was super, super close to losing some chips to the blue shell. Oh no, I think we lost like 10 grand it looks like. Oh my goodness. So it would cost us 100 grand to get that back, unfortunately. And I don't know if those dice would be worth it. I mean, those dice would have to land on some pretty big numbers for it to be worth it paying 100 grand to get that back. Well, it looks like we lost 10 or 15 grand. So I might leave that on there until the very end of the game because who knows, we might get a free reset out of that. Depends. Like if there's a red earbud or a $5 chip on that $50 chip game. You'll see what I'm saying later on because sometimes whenever I cash in that $50 chip. Oh my goodness, this is pushing good, but got distracted and let that loot shoot get too full so let's get that cleared out real quick alrighty I'm back so I got that loot shoot cleared out but before I continue playing I'd like to tell you all what these hundred dollar chips are for I don't think I pointed these out today so these hundred dollar chips they pretty much have no cash value they're just entries into a free one hundred thousand dollar buy and giveaway I've won a free five hundred dollar buy in once before but that's been like over a year ago so it's really, really difficult to win those giveaways because there's hundreds, if not thousands, of people entering them giveaways. So, oh nice, we got that tower of thousand dollar chips that was on like the right side center area. This tower right there, it's about to go also. Keep a close eye on that one. And we also got that blue mystery bag and that purple one, it is severely close to the edge. About ready to fall into the tray. Come on. Oh yeah, that was a magnificent push right there. Yeah, I can't wait to count up all these chips at the end of the game. Oh yeah, sweet, we got that uh, purple mystery bag. Absolutely excellent right there. And that tower of $25,000 chips on the right hand side, that moved forward tremendously. It's like maybe hanging over the edge by like a millimeter or so can't really see because there's quarters that are hanging over the edge over there. If we can get them quarters to fall down, we'll be able to tell for sure. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, that tower on the left-hand side, I don't know how that's still hanging there. I think the top of it's like stuck against the glass or something. All right, well that's all the quarters we had left in the bowl, so now we got to start using the quarters that are in the basket. But let's get that loot chute cleared out. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it pushing. So we got that loot chute all cleared out. Oh, nice, we got two more of those $100 buy-in chips to go. So we're about to get that tower on the left. I'm thinking that tower's going to fall backwards. Looks like it's going to slide backwards anyway. It's got a couple gold bars right there. And the gold bars, they're worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like $1,970 an ounce right now. 
Well, that's what they was yesterday. If somebody can let me know the exact spot price of gold today, I would highly appreciate that. Just leave me a comment down in the comments section. Let me know what one ounce of gold is worth. And also, I appreciate everyone watching the videos, hitting that like button, and leaving nice comments. It truly means a lot to me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And there's a lot of people told me that I wouldn't get past 20 subscribers back when I first started, but here we are two and a half years later, well, almost three years later, almost at 125,000 subscribers. So that just goes to show y'all never give up. Never give up on anything. Don't let anything get in your way. Oh yeah, we got that tower on the left-hand side. Sweet. Well, most of it fell backwards, but a little bit of it did anyway. That $100 chip fell backwards. Alright, so got a couple quarters left in the basket. So let's get those in there. Try to get that tower $25,000 chips on the right. Oh my goodness, did you see that? That moved forward tremendously right there. Oh yeah, that was a nice push on the left there. So I'm trying to focus on that right hand side because I think the left hand side's gonna fall out of there regardless. Don't really matter which side we play on. Left side's gonna be the easiest side to win. All right, well that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's collect some quarters real quick and we'll try to get that remaining tower and all those chips out of there. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up one of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should I start with? I think we're going to open up the blue one first because that one feels like it's loaded up pretty good. So let's see, hopefully there's something really good and valuable in this one. Come on, big money. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got three more white dice and we got a hundred grand in $25,000 chips. Wow, that is absolutely outstanding. This might be a new world record win today. I know I've said that like a hundred times today, but just saying it might be, might be a brand new world record win. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. After this round right here, after we run out of quarters, I will go ahead and open up that uh, purple mystery bag. I think that's the one we have to open up. And after that, I'll cash in that $50 chip. So stay tuned for that. And who knows, their loot box might be loaded up with stuff that other people have lost playing these games today. I mean, what it all boils down to is who last won that $50 chip. Like if the person that played before me had won that $50 chip, and then there wouldn't be any bonus money down in their loot box today. The only thing they would put into my game is the stuff I lost and the stuff that I lost only. Wouldn't be any bonus money. But who knows, like, what if nobody had won that $50 chip today, then that loot box should be loaded up with stuff that other people have lost. And there might be some low value chips, like 10 or $25 chips. There normally is, because a lot of people like to play the $500 buy-in games and stuff. And I used to play those a lot. Let me know if you'd want to see old videos like that return again. I mean, I've asked y'all that before and a lot of y'all said to just stick to the big buy-ins. And another thing I could do, I could like put a small buy-in after the big buy-in, like make it like a two videos in one or something. I know y'all seem to like the two videos in one or the three videos in one. So, I thought about doing that before. That way, if you don't like the smaller buy-in games, you can just click off the video. So, we're about to get that tower of $25,000 chips on the right. We almost used all the quarters that was in the bowl, then we'll use the quarters that are in that basket. Come on, massive push. Looks like one of them $100 buy-in chips got stuck in the loot chute. Every time quarters hit it, it pushes it on down into the tree. So, hoping we can get that to fall in a few minutes. About to get an extra $5,000 on that right side though. Well, it slid backwards a little bit. Might fall down here in a second. Nice, we got it, sweet. So it looks like we ended up losing $20,000 to the blue shell. 
So if they don't put that back into the play field by the time I finish playing, I'll go ahead and pay that extra hundred grand, have them put it back into the play field because we got a bunch of those white dice now and if all those treat us right and they land on some phenomenal numbers, I mean it'd be it'd definitely be worth it to pay that hundred grand to get that twenty grand back. And the hundred grand I'll be paying comes out of my account. It doesn't come out of my winnings. So it, it would definitely be worth it. Because the dots don't multiply the money in my account. It only multiplies my winnings. Now if I had to pay an extra hundred grand out of my winnings, then I'd be losing eighty grand. And a hundred grand multiplied by whatever the dice land on is a lot better than twenty grand multiplied by whatever those dice land on. Then again, like it's all about if the hundred grand comes out of your winnings or if it comes out of your account. If it comes out of your account, then it's definitely worth it. But if it come out of your winnings, it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, I'm determined to get that tower on the right side. It's super, super close. I think if we keep it pushing on the right, might end up getting it before we run out of quarters. I hope so anyway. Oh, nice that hundred dollar buying chip that was stuck fell on down into the tray. That's pretty good. And as of right now, we're down like twenty million dollars today. I mean, that's decent compared to most days. Most days we're down like fifty million dollars or above. And I've played two of these games before this one right here. So if we can make at least like eighty million dollars back, we should be even for the day. All right, so we only got like 25, 30 quarters left in the bowl. Might have been a little bit more than that. Not good at guessing the quarters. All right, well that right there was the last of them. So let's see if it gets that tower, come on. Well, it's still standing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cash in that $50 chip real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Oh, wait, we gotta open up that purple mystery bag. That's right, all right, here's that purple mystery bag. So let's go ahead and open it up and see if there's anything real good and valuable in there. Feels a lot more heavier than that blue one did, so we'll see. Oh my goodness. Wow, check this out. We got five more gold dice. That is absolutely exceptional right there. How many dice does that make us in total now? It would take a while to count them up. I'll count them all up at the end of the game. So let's cash in that $50 chip real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Envy Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $50 chip. They took everything that was down in their loot box and they built brand new towers in the play field. And it turns out that not a single person has won that $50 chip today. So most of those chips and gold and mystery bags that you're seeing in there are stuff that other people have lost playing these games today. Oh nice, we got that pink mystery bag that was on that left hand side. It looks like they put one of the mystery bags on the blue shelf and two towers also. So I'm really, really hoping there's a $5 chip or a red earbud hidden inside that pink mystery bag that we just won. We'll find out here shortly. I'll open up that mystery bag after we get all these remaining towers to go. That tower of $25,000 chips on the right, that's still standing there. I'm hoping we could get that on this round right here, but you never know. Oh yeah, that was a golden jackpot right there. Wow. That was like 10, 15 ounces of gold we just got right there. That is amazing, absolutely fabulous. Nice, we got that massive tower of chips to fall down. That is absolutely remarkable. Wow, that was a bunch of gold we just got and probably another, I'd say all those five and ten thousand dollar chips, that's like another, goodness, two or three, four million dollars possibly. Let's get that loot chute cleared out. It's getting pretty full. Alright, so I will open up that pink mystery bag after we win all those remaining chips and stuff out of there. Anyway, I would like to give a shout out to Coin Pusher. His name is Joe. He does amazing high risk coin pusher videos. If you haven't seen his channel before, I highly suggest you go and check it out. Oh, sweet, we got that other gold tower on the left. That was exceptional. So he's definitely the king of the one quarter challenges. I've watched him turn one quarter into like millions of dollars before. And he's definitely one of the best players out there. So I would highly recommend checking out his videos. 
and I will put his channel link in the description box so be sure you check that out and let's try to get Joe to 140,000 subscribers by August the 15th I know we can do that just subscribe to his channel so we almost got it all cleared out of there all well, the chips anyway there's still that tower of $25,000 chips on the right come on big money Oh yeah, there's a bunch of chips on the edge out there in the middle. Nice, there they go. Sweet. So let's keep it pushing on that right hand side. Let me try like the rest of these quarters that we have in the bowl and the quarters that we have in the basket. And if that doesn't get that power, I'll go ahead and open up that pink mister bag. And if that uh, red earbud or $5 chip is not in that pink mister bag or say we haven't won it on this round right here, then that means it's going to cost us a hundred million dollars to get them towers from that mystery bag off the blue shelves. So, really, really hoping that red earbud or five dollar chip is hidden in there. I don't think it'd be worth a hundred million dollars to get them towers. And not going to stop till we have the whole machine cleared out. That's the only thing that would stop us is having to pay that extra hundred million just for two towers. And plus that mystery bag on the blue shelf on the left, that one's not even guaranteed to have dice in it. Now if it was like 10 to 15 dice in there, then I would consider it, but I mean, just don't really want to pay that kind of money. But we'll open up that pink mystery bag here shortly. We'll see if that $5 chip or red earbud is in there. That tower $25,000 chips on the right, I don't think it's moved at all this round right here so that's all the quarters we had left in the bowl so now let's start putting quarters in that we have in the basket now I could say we could probably fit like seven or eight hundred quarters in the basket and there's actually a couple more baskets sitting on the floor because I can only fit the bowl and the basket on top of the machine can't fit any more than that so the rest of the baskets are sitting on the floor now they need to give us a table or something to set those on Wish there was a table sitting beside this machine or something. We just have to keep all our chips and stuff in a box in the floor. And I mean, that could be pretty risky, because think about it. If somebody walks by, they could steal a bunch of chips and then go up there and claim that they won those chips playing a game. I mean, luckily they got like nine or 10 security cameras around this area that I'm playing. And there's actually a camera hidden inside this machine, believe it or not. It can record audio and visual, so it will see if I'm cheating or not. And pretty much here's everything I talk about. And they monitor the cameras up front, so it's pretty much impossible to cheat and get away with it on one of these machines right here. Well, that tower of $25,000 chips on the right, I think it moved forward just a tiny bit. Not much, though. So I'm going to finish out this basket of quarters, and if it doesn't get that tower, go ahead and open up that pink mystery bag to see if that $5 chip is in there. So this has been a magnificent game today. This has honestly been one of the best games I've played. And I'm pretty sure most of y'all can agree with me on that one also. Yeah, the setup was just incredible. Never seen a setup like that before. They had this thing loaded up with towers whenever I first started playing. And the camera says we've been playing 3 hours, 14 minutes, and 54 seconds. So, been playing a pretty good while now. And that's all the quarters we had left in the basket. Let's put them on the right. See if we can get a nice push. Come on. Big money. Give me something. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and open up that pink mystery bag. Alright, here it is. Let's go ahead and open it up and see if there's anything good and valuable and beneficial in there. Feels pretty heavy, so let's see. Oh, nice. We got that red earbud. Check that out. So I can cash that in, and they'll take all that stuff that's on the blue shelves, and they'll put it into the play field. And I really, really hope that they rearrange that tower of $25,000 chips. If not, it's going to take hours to get that thing to go. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and cash this in real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMB Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that red earbud. They took everything that was on the blue shelves. And they took that tower of $25,000 chips that was on the right and they combined it all into like one ginormous tower back there on the pusher. And they put that like golden mystery bag on top of it also. So we'll open up that gold mystery bag after we win it. Hopefully there's something really, really good and valuable in there. And they put that tower in a pretty good spot. I was worried they was going to put the towers on the corners or something, but put it in a pretty good spot. We're already about to knock it over. It's like right there on the edge. And that 50 grand right there, it's getting pretty close. And also, I forgot to point this out. Remember that 20 grand that we lost to the side tables earlier? Those four $5,000 chips? They put that back into the play field also. They combined it in with the rest of that tower whenever I cashed in that red earbud. So from here on out, I think we're gonna start waiting to pay that 100 grand at the end of the game just to see if we'll win like a red earbud or something. Because if we win that red earbud or $5 chip, that'll save us $100,000. Nice, we got that massive tower to go. All those are $25,000 chips right there. And behind all those $25,000 chips, there's five and $10,000 chips. And like four ounces of gold back there that was at the base of that tower. I mean, that seems like it would be cheating, but they haven't said anything to me about it yet. I'm surprised, because normally they'll get on to, to me for something. It seems like it's beating the system or something. But no, they haven't said a thing to me about it. I mean, who knows? Those rules might change tomorrow. They might say you must pay the 100 grand before you cash in the $50 chip. Or they will just take everything off the blue shelves. I mean, I just made that up. I'm just saying what they could do. It's a possibility anyways. I hope they keep the rules the same. But I mean, that does seem like we are beating the system a little bit if we're waiting to the very end to win that $5 chip or $50 chip. My goodness, we almost got it all cleared out of there. Only three ounces of gold to go. Nice, we got it. Got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely phenomenal. This has been an outstanding game today. Absolutely outstanding. So now let's go ahead and open up that golden mystery bag. All right, here it is. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Feels pretty heavy, so let's see. Oh yeah, nice, check this out. So we got three more ounces of gold. That is awesome sauce right there. I'll take it. So now I'm gonna call them back here. I think we've won 20 dice in total. We got 11 white dice and nine gold dice. They will put all 20 of them dice back there on the moving platform. And we gotta roll them on down to the play field and whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's go ahead and call them over here real quick and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a &B Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them over here. They put all 20 of those dice back there on the moving platform. So let's roll them on down to the play field. Hopefully they land on some enormous numbers. Those are pretty good numbers so far. Oh my goodness. Well, three of the gold dice landed on ones, unfortunately, and the ones are zeros. Because it'd be multiplying the gold by one. Well, the rest of the gold dice are treating us pretty good. We've got one more dice to roll. Hopefully it lands on a five or a six. Oh my goodness, it's so close. We do gotta be careful, cause that four on the left side, it's getting pretty close to that gutter. If it woulda fell down in that gutter, we'd have lost it. Well, we got a two, a two ain't too bad. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Most of those dice landed on some enormous numbers. So I'm gonna count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold ball that, and I'll let y'all know how much money we've won back from a $50 million buy-in. I'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely spectacular. I ended up winning $16,326,125 in chips. And all of those white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 40. And in total, I ended up winning $653,045,000. Wow, I am speechless right now. I do not know what to say. 
That is absolutely mind blowing. So that's like $603 million profit right there. That is amazing. That's a new record win right there. That is absolutely exceptional. That is just, I don't even know what to say. I am blown away right now. This is just awesome. And on top of that, I ended up winning 131 ounces of gold. And all of those skull dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 27. And in total, I ended up winning 3,537 ounces of gold today. And those are around $1,970 an ounce. And we also won a bounty chip, so that means I get to bring up to 500 quarters on any game I choose. And last but not least, I ended up winning eight of the $100 buy-in chips. So that's eight entries into the free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. So that is not bad, not bad at all for a $50 million buy-in. Like I said earlier, this has definitely been one of the best games I've played. So anyhow, if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.